Moving on, let's move to the right. This is our main counter, our edit selection. So anything that we have selected, it'll give you information about. Right now, we're looking in at our main counter. And what I like to do is, if you click on this, you'll see an option that says, show sub counter. So now I have my main counter at the top. If you don't want to see both, you can always switch them around. But the main counter is in bars, beats, and ticks. When we're dealing with MIDI information, ticks is the smallest amount. When we're dealing with audio samples is the smallest increment. So in this case, we're looking at uh, bar and beat and the tick. And just below that, the main counter, we can set this to samples, feet, time code, minutes and seconds, which is handy, hours, minutes, and seconds. To the right of that, you'll notice if I were to select, well, let's say I grab the trim tool, or the selector tool, I can select that. And you'll notice up here in my edit select window, it tells me the length of that. So the start and the end and the length of, the, uh, of my selection or of my region or whatever else. Just below that where it says cursor, you'll notice as I move my cursor around, it's actually telling me where we are in regards to the timeline. Here we have timeline data, online status, session data, online status. We'll talk more about this later. And moving over, default note duration. This is when you're penciling in notes. You can have it set to a 16th note, which is what I would normally do. And this is the default velocity for the note as you're putting it in. And just above that is play MIDI notes when editing. So if I go into one of my MIDI editors and I'm selecting things and you're in, and, uh, or I'm penciling in notes, you're actually going to hear those notes. If I click on this and turn that off, when I go to make a selection or edit, you won't hear it. Again, we'll talk a little bit more about this as we're starting to get through the program. To the right of that, you will notice our uh, nudge values. So we can nudge stuff around. I can make a selection, say, and I can use the uh, plus or minus on my numeric keypad to nudge things backwards and forwards. The nudge value is controlled here. Right now it's set to a quarter note. We also have grid up above that. So my grid, sorry, I was using the nudge, uh, but the grid, when we're in grid mode, like we are right now, the grid, we can tell what type of grid we want. Do we want a 16th note grid? You can notice when I change that, the number of, of options, you're always going to have that bar as the thicker blue line. But as I change within here, like to a quarter note, you can see how that all sort of plays out.